we're talking about a powerful production tool, music, and how to use it at our meetings and events. Not too long ago, I received a really sweet thank you from a client. She had just heard a song on the radio that we'd used many years ago for one of her events. She said that she felt instantly transported back to the moment when that song was performed and that the experience still resonates with her guests even today, some seven or eight years later. One song truly can bring back a thousand memories. I'm sure we can all relate to that, either personally or professionally. How many times has a song brought you back to a specific time or place? That's just a small part of the power of music, and it's a unique tool that we can use to create a mood, punctuate a moment, and elevate an experience in a truly unforgettable way. So many thanks to Alex Petrini for inspiring our vlog today with that great email. Music is all about feeling, and the most important thing you can do to use it successfully is to put some thought into it. Really, it's that simple. Don't just use whatever your AV technician has on hand or whatever is on your device's playlist or even worse, use nothing at all. It's truly worth it to take time, think about what each moment needs and be intentional in your choices. If you can do that, you can master this powerful technique and your meetings and events will benefit immeasurably. Now before we go any further, I would like to address the legalities around the use of music at live events. There are clearly defined laws on the subject in every country and it's your responsibility to know and understand them. In the info box below, you will find links to information pages that will detail what you can and cannot do here in Canada. Please make sure you familiarize yourself with the info relevant to your country as it's not the same across the board and respect the performers and composers out there who created the music you want to use. Abide by the rules at all times. You can face some stiff penalties otherwise. That said, let's explore some of the exciting ways we can use music at our meetings and events. I have grouped these into three categories. Number one, using music to create a mood feeling. Making your guests feel what you want them to is one of the easiest and most effective ways to use music and the one we are all probably most familiar with. Creating an atmosphere using music can be extremely powerful if we do it thoughtfully. And this goes for live music or pre-recorded songs alike. Let's talk about walk-in music first. Generally, walk-in music for meetings and events should reflect the mood you want the audience to be in to receive your message, content or theme. For me, if there's nothing specific to hang my hat on, I like to keep the feeling bright and alert, anticipatory, welcoming, and positive. But let's say your event is a product or information launch. For that, I would look for something to stimulate, something that is purposeful, that evokes feelings of the type of product or information, or even industry. Walk-in music used for a beauty industry event should obviously be different than music used for an electronics or auto event, for example. A sales or motivational type of event will call for tracks that pump you up, make you excited, get your heart pounding. Do you see what I mean? You need to think about the event, the content, the message, the purpose, and choose your first impression music accordingly. If I'm attending a business session where there is no walk-in music, I feel uncomfortable, I feel awkward, like I need to whisper and tiptoe around, I have no energy, and I go into the session feeling emotionless. Now if that's how you want me to feel, then you've succeeded. If not, you have the power to change that and manipulate me into feeling what you want me to feel simply by using the appropriate type of music. Music for receptions, cocktail parties, parties in general. I always think in terms of event and progress here. I want guests to feel that everything's underway and the party's already started and is in full swing. The music should be welcoming, it should fill the air, and create an appropriate level of energy for the event in particular, in a style that suits the kind of event it is. You want to set the right tone and you want to maintain it. So whatever vibe you choose, stick with it and use it from start to finish. Just remember, if the main purpose of your reception, cocktail party, or party in general is to network, try not to use anything too beat crazy or with big vocals or horns. Don't make people scream at each other to be heard. Keep the volume bright, but don't overwhelm or you'll simply defeat the purpose of your own event. Music for sit-down meal events. Now these require a whole different kind of musical attitude. Yes, you must create a mood, but you have to make sure your guests can chat and communicate without shouting. So for this, you should be thinking in terms of restaurant. Make sure the air is filled so that the meal experience retains some energy, but keep the selection to a background feeling and the volume reasonable so that people don't have to shout. 
Try to find the sweet spot between an insipid and pointless level and the loud and obnoxious. Also, maybe consider dialing back your theme a little bit if you're using one during this part of the event. Don't abandon it, but let the dining experience be about dining and not about being a pirate or a hippie or a flapper in your face. And don't forget music for walkout. This is meant more for meetings and business sessions, but as important as the first impression is, so is the last. You can consider reprising the same music you used for walk-in, or you can use a different track that reinforces whatever the message of your meeting or session was. Or you could look for a song about coffee if you're going into a coffee break. Number two, using music to punctuate. There are often occasions at every type of event or meeting where we could use music to punctuate, bring more attention to or add energy to something in our agenda. For example, a moment, an announcement, a toast. If someone is presenting a special moment from the podium, punctuate it with a little fanfare or short clip of music played at the very end of the spoken word. A photo op or presentation. It isn't just formal awards presentations that can benefit from a little musical punctuation. If you're presenting a thank you gift or flowers to a spouse on stage, layer some music into that to give it importance and make it more interesting. Probably obvious, but a product reveal. Make sure that ta-da moment is supported with good production value and music should be a part of that. Bringing people on stage. We should always use music to accompany someone to the stage. Music encourages applause. It is anticipatory and interactive, energy building. If you know something about the person who is being introduced, you can use a song or a track that reflects their personality or their message or use music that means something to them, like we did for Alex who sent me that thank you note. Again, just take a moment to think about it. You would use different music to bring up your MC or moderator than you would for your president or keynote speaker. For a learning facilitator or trainer, think in terms of information, subject matter, and content. For your CEO or president, think strength, position, power, importance, and then see if you can add a dash of personality. What is the one thing all of these examples have in common? Well, I'll tell you, none of them are the same. You can't play the same music or just use any old music at every opportunity, at every meeting or event, and expect to see any benefit or result. Another important point, use music to get people's attention. One of my clients has prize draws in advance of each session at their conference, so we show winners' names on the video screens in the main room before the sessions begin. To bring attention to this, we always play the same short game show style fanfare every time we, we roll the winner's names. When they hear it, guests know the winner's names are up and they take notice. It's also a great way to get people into the room from the foyer. Also, if you want to move your agenda forward after a meal, for example, change up your music to something different and add some volume. Use it as an indicator that something new or different is about to happen. This also works well if you are taking a break between dinner and wards or speeches and dancing. Crank it up a bit, change the style, and get people's attention to refresh the energy. Moving on to number three, using music to support and elevate. Sometimes we will have recognition during a session or an event. Perhaps we're reading a list of VIPs in attendance or asking the members of a committee to stand in the audience and be recognized. Playing a little music under the person's voice who is reading these names can add a bit more importance to the moment and reduce the monotony of listening to a list. You would look for something instrumental, light, and mid-tempo that you can speak over. Just be sure to instruct your audio technician to play the track at a lower volume under the voice during this segment. Awards presentations. The most important thing I want to say about awards presentations right now is make sure you use music wherever possible. Dead air does nothing but diminish the importance of the occasion. Use exciting anticipatory music for walk-in to make your guests feel excited and looking forward to seeing who will win. Use sparkling catchy tracks to introduce your host or master of ceremonies or to bring your president to the stage but stay within one family or style of music to lend consistency and to help you tell a story. Use music with a beat to bring your honorees to the stage and while their awards are being presented to them. Give them something to walk to. This works especially well if you have groups of people you need to recognize at once. Let them strut their stuff and encourage the audience to clap along. 
Again, if you know something about your winner, use music that means something to them or that speaks to their achievement. We've all been subjected to so many awards shows on television and our audiences arrive with an expectation level now. Using an important production value like music is an inexpensive way to rise to that challenge. We always keep everything alive and vibrant from start to finish using music at our clients' awards events to give them the importance they deserve and to create memories like the one Alex wrote to me about. The last thing I want to leave you with is a few suggestions and ideas for where you can use music that you may not have considered before. Anywhere your attendees congregate, like registration. This is a great example of an underused opportunity to make your attendees feel the way you want them to. Check-in areas, badge pickup, casual meals, workspaces, lounge areas, elevators and foyers. Consider the route your guests are taking to get to your different meetings and events and make sure you create an atmosphere that relates to your content or theme. Arrival points. Welcome your guests with feeling and emotion by using music. Refreshment breaks. Keep your attendees within your desired mindset. That doesn't end in the meeting room. This is a wonderful place to continue your atmosphere using music. And give some thought to what you can do ahead of your event. Add a music track to your event's website or video promo. Create a playlist for your attendees to download to their devices that will put them in the mood for your event. Or put a song of the day that speaks to your event on your event app. Once you've given thought to what you're going to use and where, and have designed your event's music scape, sit back and listen to it. You'll be amazed how it all comes together, flows, and tells a story. We as planners visualize our meetings, events, conferences, galas from start to finish as we're planning. We can do the same thing with our soundscapes. It's the auditory equivalent to visualization. One of the best compliments we can receive as an event planner is to hear from our attendees that they're reminded of a special moment we created for them. Isn't that worth putting in the time and effort? Thanks very much for watching. This vlog is for you, our viewers, so take the wheel and tell us what you want to talk about. If you would like to receive a list of music and music resources that we use at Really Fabulous, please click on the link below.